guys, it's Christy here with Sholi Sunless. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a deep clean for an Apollo T5020 applicator. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is to remove all of the parts and soak it into some sort of jar, bowl. Um, I like glass so I can see the parts. Um, so we'll get started. I'd say roughly about two to three ounces of gun cleaner. And then I like to put some warm water as well. Um, and the first thing that you need to do, um, I like to remove the solution screw first. So this is the solution screw. We're gonna simply untwist it. There's a spring as well. Um, if you pull the trigger, it gives you a little bit bigger of a bite and then you can pull the needle straight out. If the needle is stuck and it won't come out with a little bit of force, don't force it, okay? Always put it in with the tip up so we don't bend the needle. The next thing we're going to remove is the gland nut right here. And we'll need your tool, the little wrench that comes with your applicator. Um, and we'll remove it with the smaller end. and just twist up. I like to loosen it with the wrench and then you can hand loosen it for the remaining. There it is. There will also be this little black rubber gasket. Um, if the gasket doesn't come out, that's okay, just leave it. Um, if it does come out, you can go ahead and soak it and clean it. Next thing we're going to do is release the air cap. And you can see this one has a lot of buildup, so I'm not able to hand loosen this. Um, I will try with the crescent. I like to use a hairnet to protect um, the bite from the crescent. You can use a simple piece of cloth, anything that you have that will work as like a barrier just so that you don't get um, any marks on your applicator. And I'm gonna try to loosen this and as you can see, it's really tight and I can't loosen it. So what we'll need to do in this case, because we need to get to the nozzle, is you'll want to submerge the nozzle in your water, um, add some more gun cleaner and water because we want it to fill up past that air cap, cap piece. Sometimes if it's really bad, you guys, it either won't come off or you need to soak it overnight. We're gonna try for an hour and we'll be right back. All right, so it's been an hour and so now we're gonna check the status of this and try to get that air cap ring off, okay? Take it out of the water. Let's put our hairnet back on there to act as a buffer. And then it's righty tidy lefty loosey friends. So I'm gonna pull down with this crescent. Oh yes, we got a little bite, it's good. Oh good, and I can hand loosen this. Get ready for it you guys. See in there all the buildup. This is normal if you are not performing your daily maintenance and all of the solution needs to be gone. You can see the air cap, it's a bunch of buildup. We'll just throw that in our water. And then the actual air cap itself, you can see it's, the gun cleaner did its magic. This case, the plate is stuck, that's two individual pieces, okay? Um, and then we need to get this nozzle piece removed, okay? Go back to our wrench, we want the bigger end, and you'll see, you can just loosen it a little bit and then you should be able to hand loosen the rest. Okay, this is the nozzle, you guys. Small little piece. And you can see there's a little black gasket on the outside of that as well. This case, it's a lot of buildup, so I would remove the outside gasket and soak that separately as well. Okay, so the next thing we need to remove is this air feed tube. The simplest way to remove the air, the air feed tube is to just slice it. It's gonna get tossed away anyways, so no reason to save it or try to salvage it. Cut a slice there, cut a slice on this end, and then it should pull right off. So now what we do is we need to clean the whole casing of the applicator, okay? Some sort of brush, I like to dip it in my gun cleaner, and then just start cleaning it up, you guys. All these pieces can be cleaned and should be cleaned. And then just 
just take a dry cloth and simply wipe it clean. Now we want to remove the solution tube. Um, this comes clear when you first get it, you guys, and over time the solution turns it black and a lot stiffer than it normally was. Um, this can be pulled off with a little bit of force. And then the duck bill also needs to be removed right here, this piece. You can see there's a white little gasket. Um, the simplest way to remove it is to just pop the gasket off with that wrench that you have. Sometimes it goes flying. Oh, we got lucky here. Put that in there, clean it. And then to remove the duck bill, um, I like to grab a hold of it and squeeze. It gets kind of challenging with the gloves, so maybe grab like your towel to get a good bite. And let's soak that as well. This foam gasket inside here, um, this one is pretty well worn and you can see it's got a lot of buildup, so we're gonna replace this part. I like to grab the needle, but be gentle. We don't wanna bend the needle. Is I just grab a little bite with the needle and to lift it. Use that same brush, you guys. All these fittings need to be cleaned. Use your towel. Sometimes paper towels aren't the best route, you guys, as paper towel little residues stay in these little crevices. Um, and that will affect your spray. So now we're gonna start to clean the parts. So we're gonna put our gun aside and we're gonna just scrub them clean and then lay them to dry. So now that we have all the parts clean, we're gonna reassemble it, okay? We're gonna start with the nozzle. Um, don't forget our little gasket. I like to put the gasket on the nozzle first. And then we simply just hand screw. And then we'll get our wrench to tighten it up. Again, you guys, it doesn't need to be Hulk tight, just snug tight. Now we've got the nozzle. The next piece is going to be the spring. We just slip that in. The next piece is going to be the plate, the distributor plate. You can see there's bubbles on the outside and then inside they're inverted. You want them to be the bubbles facing you. Also, top and bottom notch is going to align with the notches on the applicator. This piece, you have to hold kind of like this because the spring is gonna make it bounce out. So I like to tilt it. Then we're going to put the air cap. You notice the bubbles are inverted here, so the bubbles will match up. And then we are going to apply the air cap ring, okay? Before we uh, screw on the air cap ring, we're gonna apply some oil, okay? Oil is intended wherever the threads are. And then we start to screw on our air cap. The next thing we're going to do is to put the gland nut back on, all right? Remember we have our little rubber gasket. If this one fell out, then put that in first, and then we'll put on the gland nut. Just hand tighten it. The next thing we're going to do is to insert the needle. The needle also needs a little bit of lubrication on that little shaft part. Just a couple drops, and then we're going to insert the needle, like so. We never wanna force the needle. If it's not going, we need to loosen up the gland nut and try again. Now the needle is in. The next thing that we're going to put on is that spring, okay? And then we're gonna assemble the solution screw. Um, also, you can see there's threads right there. So wherever there's threads, we're going to put the oil. Simple air tool oil from your local hardware store is gonna work just fine. For this piece, you might have to push and twist at the same time, and we're gonna screw that completely on. The next thing we're gonna need to do is to snug up the gland nut with our little tool. Tight enough where you start to feel a little bit of tension. So now the next piece that we're going to assemble is our foam gasket. Simple, we just place it in. I'm gonna put a new solution straw in there. This is what the old one looks like. Um, it's a little bit worn, it's plastic, so over time it expands. Um, I'm gonna just replace it. You just push down and make sure that it's flush up against that lid assembly, okay? The next piece that we're going to assemble is the duck bill. Here's the duck bill. This one is still um, salvageable. You can still move it with ease. In this case, we can use the one that we already had. Just put it back on that screw and then the little gasket goes next. Sometimes two fingers to push that thing and secure it on. Good. Now we need to put our air feed tube on. 
we're going to wiggle it on. You're gonna try to get a little piece on and then wiggle back and forth. It's kind of challenging you guys, so you're not alone here. And you want to wiggle it on until there's one or zero threads showing like so. And then we'll do the top piece. Again, kind of wiggle and push at the same time until zero threads are showing. Now what we need to do is test the spray, okay? We're testing that it's spraying consistently. We're testing that nothing is leaking from the gland nut. So a test spray consists of about an ounce of water, and then I just put literally a splash of gun cleaner. And then you would attach your cup, connect your hose, and then I like to just spray into the towel. You could also clean your tent, you could spray into the sink, whatever it takes. But I want you guys to hold this trigger consistently and spray into something for at least 45 seconds. Again, we're looking that there's no dripping from this gland nut and that everything is flowing consistently. And that completes your 5020 deep clean. Good luck, you guys. Give us a call if you have any questions or need any assistance with this.